here is can a battery shock you or electrocute you? Here we have a standard 12 volt battery. You could, you'll find this in, uh, well, this one's a deep cycle. It's not a starting cycle, so you probably won't find it in a car, but a motorhome or a boat you might find it in. Um, same voltage as what a car battery would be anyway. There's the voltage. It's 12.5 volts right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch it right here from negative to positive. And we're going to see if it shocks me. Uh, so here we go. Nothing. Now, the reason it didn't shock me, it's not because it's a trick battery or anything. I'll show you. Battery's good. You can see it's light coming on and off. Um, your skin has too much resistance in it. Uh, so 12 volts just isn't enough to pierce through your skin uh, to shock you. And it really wouldn't uh, shock you. What it would more than likely do, because it's DC, it would actually burn you really bad. Um, and I'll show you some ways that you can get burnt or hurt if you're messing with the battery. If you have a wire that's hooked to the positive and you come over here to the uh, negative, you can see very hot here. You're actually melting the copper and creating plasma. This wire I'm holding just got very hot just from touching it those few times. Um, what I'll actually do, I'm going to light this tissue on fire. The wire got really hot um, before I could get the tissue to burst. And I actually burnt all the stripped wire I had off the end of it. Peel it off again, see if I get a better result this time. There it is. Just lit this tissue on fire. So, I mean, if it's hot enough to light the tissue on fire. Shit. Oh, shit. Stop the video.